Well, good Monday morning, Pastor Hayton and the Lord Life's devotional again to start your week. Thank you for letting me share with you today. I'm sitting up here on a pulpit bench on the platform or in the pulpit of the Lighthouse Chapel Sanctuary. I sit here twice each Sunday, Sunday morning, again Sunday night, and I look out over people that uh, are from all different walks of life. I see some people that are professional people. I see other people that are blue collar. I see some people that are quite industrious and I see other people that don't, don't seem to have too much uh, get up and go in their life. I see some people that uh, live in nice homes and other people uh, live in homes that are less than nice sometimes. I look out and I see people that uh, drive new automobiles and I see people like myself that drive old automobiles. And I look out and I see people that some of them dress up really nice to come to church. Other people that's just kind of a come as they are affair. And I'm just glad that they're there. And I look out and I just see all different kinds of people. And yet I think that when the Lord looks out over a congregation, he sees those that are lost and he sees those that are saved. He knows the spiritual condition of everybody that is in the four wall, within the four walls of a sanctuary. And he knows whether they're ready to meet God or whether they're not ready to meet God. And when I think about that, no matter how else we may see people, I have to sit here and I have to look out and realize that some people are ready to meet God and that other people are not prepared to meet God. And it's my responsibility to challenge people as Amos of old, prepare to meet thy God. Now I hope that I do that. But then I look out and I see people too that are different in many different respects, but God looks out and he sees people that uh, some of them need a comfort and some of them need wisdom. Some of them need encouragement. Some of them need to be strengthened in the things of the Lord. And uh, some of those people, they're stumbling along the way. They're battling different uh, enemies. I mean to tell you, it's just hard telling what we see when we look out over a congregation. You know, man looks on the outward, but God looks on the heart. God knows the heart of every person. He sees those that are discouraged. He sees those that have been weakened by the battles of life or by the toils of life. He sees those that are wandering in a wilderness of doubt and confusion. He sees those that need comfort because of sorrowing circumstances in their life. I don't always see that, but God sees. And as I said here in this pulpit, look out over the congregation, I've got to realize that I've got people that need encouragement. I've got people that need new strength. I've got people that need to, to have comfort in their times of sorrow. I've got people that are facing perplexities where they need wisdom. Now the dilemma is how do you minister to so many different people? How is it that a preacher can get up? And you know, back when I was a kid growing up, we had, preacher had pretty well three shots. I mean, people came to church Sunday morning, they came back Sunday night, and they came back Wednesday night. And so you could get up and preach a beautiful pastoral message that would encourage and strengthen the flock on Sunday morning. You could preach a more evangelistic message on Sunday night that would challenge people to seek the Lord. You could deal with different issues that needed to be dealt with on Wednesday evening in Bible study and, and uh, that type of thing. But uh, most of us just have one shot. Most people are on ch in church on Sunday morning and Sunday morning alone. So you see, it's a dilemma. How do we minister to people that have so many different needs? So different, and I can see a lot of differences, but I don't know the heart of the people. The only thing that I know to do is to seek the Lord to seek his wisdom and to seek his help. And I cannot evangelize the sinner and heal the wounded at the same time. I cannot evangelize the sinner and strengthen and encourage the weak at the same time. But God knows who's there and God knows what the time is. God knows if it's the time for that sinner to seek the Lord and if so, gives me a message that appeals to the sinner 
If it's just that people need strength and encouragement and, and uh, that type of thing, comfort in their sorrow, God knows how to give me those messages as well. So you see why it's important for me to seek the mind of the Lord for every service, why it's important for me to discern the will of God when it comes to preaching the Word of God. I found after 48 years of preaching, it's easier to preach sometimes than it is to know what to preach. But God knows the needs of a particular congregation and God knows just when that time is and God is so faithful to minister to the people in the pews. Heavenly Father, we're thankful that you know how to deal with the needs of the people in the congregation. And while we sometimes are at loss, yet thou can give us wisdom, thou can give us leadership, thou can give us help. We do want to see the sinner saved, the believer sanctified, and we want to see the Christian strengthened and encouraged. Help us to know just how to do that. Bless us throughout this day and on throughout this week, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share that. I'll see you tomorrow on Lower Light's Devotional. Goodbye now.